Hi, I'm Dr. Watson, and we're going to talk about constipation. Constipation! Well, no one's more regular than you and I, eh, babe? Did you know that water is absorbed in the large intestine? Really? So, when poop sits there and does not come out, it gets drier and drier until it's a large rock. So pooping more frequently to help keep things moving can help reduce this from being a problem. Like sitting to poop after every meal. This is also why we tell constipated kids to drink undiluted juice, because the sugar in the juice causes the water to flow back into the poop, and this gives a bit of diarrhea. Prunes do this well. That sounds messy. But you can't give juice to kids under six months old. If you must, make sure it's pasteurized, and you're not supposed to give babies caro syrup. Medicines also make poop slippery, like oils or polyethylene glycol, and green leafy vegetables help smooth things out too. So put away the cookies. But never give mineral oil to a kid who's vomiting, mentally delayed, has seizures, and never to a baby with heartburn or another condition that might cause them to vomit. Because when you vomit an oil and accidentally breathe it into the lungs, you can get a condition called deadly pneumonitis. So please hold off on that. If you want to use suppositories and enemas, you don't have to worry about that. It's better to talk to your doctor first because kids who need suppositories will often grow dependent on them. And if you've tried all this and still find yourself stopped in your tracks, let your doctor weigh in on the matter. He may be able to flush out the cause. <laughs>